Here we go. Oh my gosh. What's going on everybody? It has been a while since I put a video out on YouTube, but I'm back. We got a tank to revamp. We're gonna do that now. If you guys can hit that subscribe button and notification bell, that would be awesome. Let's change this boring 125 into something awesome. All right, let's get this thing rolling, guys. Draining the tank with my spa pump. Super cool uh, water change system feature I have. And kind of just getting this thing all cleaned up, cleaning the glass, all the good stuff that comes with cleaning a tank. Imagine if we could clean glass this fast. Big shout out to Elite Cichlids uh, for these plants here. So uh, what we're gonna do is take a peek at them. Start off with uh, the real big ones. Pull them out of the bag here. So looks like we got some grass. What's pretty cool is they have them on, looks like a piece of tile and they have it all set here so this weight is going to keep them from floating that's a nice piece now we got a nice big one look at this i can't wait to see what they look like in the water these these definitely are not your typical big box store plants uh, they got a lot more character to them this is going to be a pretty cool one now we got some more in this box here. Let's take a look at what's in this bag. Put that in there. Here's a nice piece. I gotta say, this is a great idea having it on this piece of stone like this because plants always fly out. Uh, of the sand or they come out of the sand so having that's going to be really nice and uh, yeah we're going to definitely see how this is going to look inside the water oops there goes the box <laughs> and the last one is uh, I think I believe this is an Amazon sword they got different sizes of this one looks really good looks really good I'm going to rinse them off and then we're going to put them in the tank. All rinsed off, so we're going to go ahead and just put them in here and kind of start getting some ideas as far as scaping is concerned. So, see that right there is awesome. You don't have to worry about them coming out of the sand. That right, that is awesome. Loving that. Wow, this one is really tall. That's cool. All right, now, again, like I said, I'm gonna just let them sit and kind of get some ideas as far as how I'd like to escape it. One thing for sure I know is I wanna take this piece of driftwood out and replace it with one of the plants. So I'm gonna go and just kind of slowly get this guy out. A lot of chunks of random food and stuff and to try this gets stuck on that pretty easy. I think with this we're gonna go with the Amazon sword. Alright, we'll see how that ends up looking. Alright, I got some ideas. Let's go ahead and this guy over here for now. All right, we're gonna speed this up and kind of get things switched around here after Having it sit for a while, I got a lot better idea of how I wanted to place the rocks and place the plants, as you can see here. Just kind of trying to get things placed the way I like them to create that look of, look of depth. This is what I'm gonna go with here, guys. 
plant in front of the sponge, two rocks, and then the two plants, kind of a, a three, two deal. Got to get some sand into the tank though. We got it right over there. Let's get the sand in the tank. It's going to be awesome. Check it out. I'm using this pool filter sand that I got from my local pool and spa uh, place. We're going to go ahead and get this in there. Um, I'm not going to wash it, so let's see what happens. All right, we're going to get that sand in here, like I mentioned. And uh, after going through this, in all reality, what I would have done was rinse the sand a bit. This was a different brand than I had last time. The last time I got pool filter sand, I did not need to rinse it at all, and it was perfectly fine. Um, this time, you could see it is quite cloudy, and uh, you know the you could see the film on top. So, gonna have to clean the tank again. So, should have rinsed it. Well, it fogged up my water more than I would like, so we did a water change and we're gonna turn the filters on and see what happens after a couple hours. All right, what do you guys think? We got the plants in the tank here from Elite Cichlids. Um, I think they look fantastic. Um, really love the grass ones a lot. Um, they're very realistic looking and, um, you know, sponges being hidden back there. Got some rock, got some sand. What do you guys think of this? Yeah, I'm excited to throw some fish into this tank. We're gonna throw one in for now, and then I'm gonna pick up some others later. That'll be a separate video, but let's get a fish into the tank. Let's get him in the tank. It is time to move a fish into the tank now. Um, it's been a long time coming, but this is gonna be a fun one to try to catch. I don't want to take the lid all the way off because I think there could be jumping action. We don't want this fish on the floor. I'm going to use the biggest net that I have and uh, wish us luck. Okay. As I think. Oh, not as tough as I thought. Wow, I lucked out. It's got to be a splash right now. Get ready. Splat, enter, in, enter the splash zone. Here we go. Come on, dude, calm down. Come on, calm down. I don't want him to fly out. Don't want him to fly out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Biggest fish I own. Biggest fish I own, guys. Oh my gosh. Do not jump out, dude. Holy cow, guys. Autoboppo Red Pike from South America. Oh my gosh, this guy's huge. All right, let's go ahead, get him situated in here. Get used to the water a bit. We're gonna let him out and see what he does. Ooh, calm down, buddy. I know, I know. There you go. Woo! Oh, oh, look at that, dude! All right, guys, let's get a close look up at the Autoboppo in this tank. Gonna have to give him some time to settle on into the tank. But uh, when I end up adding some new fish to this tank, I'm going to definitely need to pull him out so that this guy um, is going to be, you know, um, in a tank that uh, he's by himself for a while because I have a feeling he will destroy anything that comes into this tank if he's the only one that's been in here. Well, big fish means I need and want big lids. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting those on. I love these plastic lids. They're so nice to have. After. Let's go ahead and get this thing over here. Just kind of get the cord out of the way for now. Man, all we need is for this guy to settle on in and it's gonna be incredible. What I will tell you is this. On video, this fish does not look big. In person, it's a big fish. There it is, the red Autoboppo pike, South American cichlid. Had this guy for some time and uh, finally got a tank for him. Planning on getting some more fish for this tank, so stay tuned. Again, we got the sponge in the back corner being hidden by the plant. Uh, we got a rock here. We got another plant rock and another plant kind of blocking the piping back there. 
Um, sand is a nice color. Like I said, I would wash it in the future. But uh, there he is down there. See if this guy will come out for us. Yep. Yep, it's gonna come out right now, right out, right outside this rock. There it is. Look at that beast, you guys. This guy is insane. Insane. Autobapo, Red Pike, Crenicilla, Autobapo, Wild Caught. Incredible. Incredible. So what do you guys think of the new scape, the plants, throwing the Autobapo in there? Think it looks awesome. And again, a special shout out to Elite Cichlids for sending out the plants. In the description will be a code that you guys can use at checkout to save 10%. The code to use is I-N-V-K-I-N-G, I-N-V-King at checkout at Elite Cichlids and you will get 10% off of the plants that you guys purchase. And uh, again, if I may so, say so myself, man, I think they look really nice. The grass are my favorite. You got the thick blade over here in this corner and then you got uh, you know, the thinner one here. I think they look spectacular. I'm not a big plant guy, but I, I'm digging these a lot. Definitely digging them and I can see myself getting more for tanks later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video If you could like the video comment share subscribe if you could click that notification bell That would be awesome. You'll be notified as soon as a video comes out. I appreciate each and every one of you guys Thanks again for watching and stay tanked